back. So we are going to start with the lower back and then we are going to go somewhere in the midline and then the top, okay? So starting from the bottom, you see this uh, tough fascia? Hmm? Yes. Mm -hmm. This is called lumbodorsal fascia, okay? It's very tough and you can see the thickness of it from here. Can you see the thickness of it? Mm -hmm. Pretty thick, right? Mm -hmm. So you have to remove this, and once you remove this, then you can uh, show the muscles of the lower back. Now this right here in the middle, and you can see this is the bone, right? This is your spine. The muscle right next to it attaching to the spine, this muscle on either side. You see this muscle? Mm -hmm. This is called multifidus spiny. Multifidus spiny on either side. Now this muscle, thick muscle right here, and you can see it has three, three kind of layers to it. This, and then this, and then this. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. And that is how it is in your, um, the, PowerPoint that I have shown you on the um, on the blackboard, it also shows you as the three uh, parts to this muscle. This is longissimus dorsi. Okay, so multifidus spiny on either side of the spine. This muscle, multifidus spiny, and from here all the way to here, this muscle on either side. You can see how it is separated, right? This and this and this. Mm -hmm. So this is your longissimus dorsi, and that is your lower back. Now let's look at the mid back. Now mid back is going to be right here, so for that, what I want you to do is, okay, you can see right here what we have done. We have cut the uh, spinal trapezius from here, right? and we have separated it. Did you see that? Mm -hmm. And this as well, we separated it, cut it from here, separate these muscles so that we can uh, move the scapula, right? Once you do that, then you have to cut the muscles which were the rhomboids over here, right? You cut them from here completely and they are all then you can remove them or keep them or whatever, but anyhow, I removed it from here so there is less uh, mm -hmm. uh, mess around here. And now you can see this entire area and the arm drops down, right? So this is where you need to separate out the muscles. Is that clear? Mm -hmm. Once you do that, then in the midline, in, in the middle of the back, you are going to look for three muscles right here, S, L, I, okay? What does that mean? Okay, S, at the top, that is your spinalis dorsi, okay? Spinalis dorsi, so this muscle right here is spinalis dorsi, or spinalis dorsi. This muscle right here, which is running all the way, this is your longissimus dorsi continuation of this, right? It goes all the way to the top, okay? This is a long muscle, goes all the way. So this is your longissimus dorsi, right? This is longissimus dorsi. So S, L, I. I is for iliocostalis, and in order to expose that, there is, you are going to see this kind of skin, with fascia, you hold on to it and pull it down. Okay, pull it down. When you pull it down, then you will see iliocostalis. The muscle that you pulled down, that is your external intercostal. That is your external intercostal, okay? So when you hold on to it and pull it down, then you will expose iliocostalis. So this is your SLI. Spinalis dorsi, then you have longissimus dorsi, right? And then you have iliocostalis, and this one was external intercostal. Now we are going to look at the top part, okay? And the top part, you are going to look for the pockets, okay? Now, the top 
do you see how it is how it is going straight right here but over here do you see how it is going diagonally huh this is the top pocket and it is called plenius your probe can go all the way underneath it it's kind of like a pocket but see how it's going diagonally right so this top one is basically your splenius under this pocket and look at the edge of the pocket how it is going do you see how it is going this way huh the other pocket is going to go opposite to it you see this edge is going this way. Do you see that? And it's kind of making a triangle now. So this, the top one, the edge goes this way. The next, or the deeper one, the edge goes this way. See? So this deeper pocket, that is your semi-spinalis cervicus. Do you see this? So the top or the superficial pocket is your splenius, this muscle. This muscle, which is making the deeper pocket, okay, this muscle. This is called your semi-spinalis cervicus. And deeper to this, which is right here, we already did it, which was spinalis dorsi, remember SLI? So it is the same muscle, okay? So over here, you're looking at two muscles, okay? Multifidus spiny, then latissimus dorsi. In the midline, you are looking for SLI, which is spinalis dorsi, longissimus dorsi, and then there is the iliocostalis, SLI. And at the top, you are looking for two pockets, the superficial pocket and the deep pocket. Superficial pocket is your splenius. Deep pocket, which is this one, that is your semispinalis cervicus. And of course, this muscle that you pulled away from iliocostalis, that is your external intercostal. And of course, the lumbodorsal fascia. And that's your back, back of the